Good morning, my lads. So it is payday and we are off to Lakeside Shopping Centre today. We've just stopped off at Greg's, the Holy Grail of bakeries, to get a bacon sandwich and a cup of coffee for on our drive up there. So come along with us and let's go bargain hunting and have a fun shopping trip. that they didn't have the shops in Lakeside so we just crossed over the bridge and went to Blue Water as well. I am absolutely knackered, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I had an amazing day, I spent some of my birthday money as well. So, um, I also got like some vouchers from people's gifts as well as some of the loyalty schemes I'm part of, you know, they give you free sweet treats and free drinks just on your birthday every year. Um, I will do a short video on that, on which free bits I did get, because I did get some really yummy bits that I usually wouldn't buy, but because they were free, they're always really great to try. I got myself some new outfits, got some new bits and pieces for Stephen, as well as a few summer dresses and summer bits for Florence. We actually got her, her feet measured, but sadly, the shoes we wanted to get, they didn't have in her size. So we're gonna have to try and go back and get them another day. Um, Cause she has taken her first steps. We wanted to wait to get them full sort of walking shoes rather than the pre-walkers. Cause we already had some that were sort of pre-walkers that we got online, but wanted to wait to get her big girl shoes in person. And I'm a little bit gutted really, because it was really sweet and she was like so happy and like, ah, you'll probably see from the clips. So she was so happy to be trying to have her feet measured and to be seeing these strangers, but it's fine. So we'll grab some probably in the next couple of days. We didn't end up having time to go food shopping today. And to be fair, by the time we were done, it was one of those, it was like, we're gonna go and it's probably gonna be sort of, I wouldn't say rotten, but sort of the rubbish sort of stock the bits that are all left over. So we said, instead, we're gonna extend our shopping trip and go tomorrow. So this vlog isn't a shopping day trip vlog. It's now just a shopping vlog that's spread across a few days. Um, but yeah, I will show you probably all tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, but tomorrow in this vlog, all the bits we bought because I'm absolutely knackered now and I've just run a nice hot bubble bath and I treat myself to a new bath bomb. I love a bath bomb. Ooh, I actually got given a little free sample as well. Is it me or is if something is free, it's just automatically better, it smells better, it tastes better, it feels better. Free is just better. I'm always really boring with my bath bombs. I usually go for like intergalactic when I buy from Lush and for a different one. So this is, it's called Dragon Egg. From what I can see, it's got like little speckles in. So I have to get a little clip and see how that turns out. It smells really nice though. It's quite floral and fragrant. But yeah, so I got myself a cheeky little bath bomb and I'm going to have a nice lemonade, ice cold lemonade in the bath with my bath bomb. And then I'm probably gonna have an early night because when we go food shopping, we go really early. <laughs> no, um, so when we go food shopping, to be fair, we do go quite early, but we like getting there for when it opens and we do our food shop at Aldi, 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 everyone calls it different names, but 
we go to Audi and we get there for when it opens at eight, which I know seems really, really early, especially with a toddler. But we do it every every week without fail and that people are always really shocked that we've got a toddler that's fully dressed and happy at that time in the morning. But we prefer just going, getting it done and then we can crack on with our day. So I'm going to sign off for tonight and tomorrow morning we will go food shopping together. There's actually a really nice Poundland near where we do our food shops. I might have to pop in there because I've heard the Pep & Co home, uh, home range is now absolutely incredible. So I do want to check that out. So I might have to do that tomorrow. So I'm going to go have my bath and I'll see you in the morning, guys. Hey my loves, so it's the next day, it's day two of our shopping vlog. We've just pulled up to Audi to do our weekly food shop. We have completely eaten through our fridge and our cupboards, so we're now gonna do our massive restock. So when we do our food shops, we do one really, really big one at the beginning of the month, and then the other two and, two and three shops are sort of more filler, top up, and more smaller shops. So this is our big refill, so come restock the fridge with us. So we've just finished our food shop and I realised I don't think I have enough containers for my fridge. So much to Stephen's dismay, we are going into B&M Bargains and if you know what B&M Bargains are, you know you don't go in there for just one thing. Or you do, you just don't come out with just one thing. So I'm going in there for some containers. I probably won't come out with just containers. In fact, I know I won't be coming out with just containers. So uh, let's go uh, spend a good hour in here and go up and down every aisle, much again to Stephen's dismay. And I'm gonna have fun at least. So I'm sure you can tell by Stephen's face. <laughs> We went into B&M and they didn't have the stuff that I wanted. So I decided to bring us 35 minutes down the road to an even bigger one. Although we did actually buy stuff in the other one. I wanted to go to this one as well. food shopping I'm going to show you a few of the bits we get so we're currently on a bit of a health kick so that's why we've got so much fruit and veg and we're also trying to not eat out as much anymore we've been trying to take more packed lunches and snacks throughout the day to avoid sort of buying snacks and coffees and things so let me show a few of the bits we have got so here is our selections of fruits and vegetables we go through so many berries with a toddler we've got lots of choppy up fruit as I call it things like lemons and limes which we like to have in our water as well as a bit of cucumber coming on to the meat we haven't bought much meat because we tend to do that in bulk uh frozen from places like farm foods but we've got like some chicken breasts so it'd be really nice marinated as well as some cooked meats for sandwiches we like making our own sort of at home subways obviously we've got things like quiches and savory bits for our picnics so we've also got our dairy products and we also get the pre-made smoothies because they're so quick and easy and great to take out for lunches. We get the pouches for our daughter Florence because they're really easy on the go and they're mess free and they're actually the cheapest we found them. We've got a selection of veg bits. We don't get too much fresh veg this time of the year. We get more salad bits because we like to have a lot of jacket potato and salad. Also, we like to have rice with that. So of course, we've got some ready-made rice just for quick, easy convenience. We've also got some snacks and some treats, obviously, because you can't be without them. We like, we absolutely love Audi's own version of all the chocolate bars. Obviously, I'm not gonna say which ones they are, but and they taste exactly like the original and they're a fraction of the price. Florence is absolutely loving these at the moment. These are the Mamiya Organic Bars. They're so quick and easy and perfect for her lunchbox. 
We've got a selection of some sweeties and things and some popcorn. So we're going to have a movie night in the next couple of days. Obviously, like I said, we've got these subs. These taste just like Subway ones and they're great for on the go. And we chuck them in the air fryer at home and grill them. And it's literally just like a fake away. Got a selection of crisps, pretzels, snacky bits, um, some bread. Uh, we've got some bagels, which are also going to have some cream cheese on just as a little treat. Some crispies for our salads as well as finally just a few boxes of cereal and some baby wipes and toiletries. Most of that we do buy from Home Bargains, but we do get a few bits here and there from Audi as well. So this is our big restock. This overall came to about £120 and for the next two to three weeks we will do miniature versions and top up shops in Audi as well. So we popped into Poundland after going to all the B&Ms and every other shop that Stephen didn't want to go into and oh my gosh, they have stepped up their homeware game. Let's just say that it was beautiful. They had candles, they had home accessories, even their decorating and painting and DIY section top drawer it really was like it was so aesthetic and it wasn't just what's on trend now i personally love all that sort of the neutrals the beige the wicker a bit of gold and wood effect at the moment but they had every style you could possibly think of it was incredible like and it's so reasonable as well so i'm just going to show you some of the bits that i have got um i've only got some kitchen bits some serving bits and I did get some other little knickknacks in there, like they had an offer free for three pounds. Um, we got like some sweets and I got like the trivial bits you get from, you know, bargain shops, you know, the random stuff like the bin bags, a bit of cleaning products. Um, I think I got some cupcake cases. I'm not gonna show you all that because it's just trivial and boring. This is the fun stuff. This is the homeware. This is my favorite personally. So let's have a look. So to start with, I picked up these gold effect cutlery and they were 12 pounds like that's a, such a good deal i also picked up this tablecloth it's sort of a neutrally sort of color and that was only nine pounds this i absolutely love so it's like a serving tray platter and i want to say it's about eight pounds yes yeah, eight pounds and you get the four, it's wooden glass, and you get four containers in there, they can come out and they can be washed. Perfect for movie nights or hosting. I needed some new kitchen utensils. These were pound fifty, and there is four in there. All of my baking trays are actually part of this collection, um, and they all actually stack inside. So I just got a loaf tin and two of these just round um, cake tins because I want to start making like some birthday cakes and that rather than buying them and obviously decorating cakes and that with flow as she gets a bit bigger. But I think these are, these are two pounds each so really really good deal. This tray, oh, I can't remember how much it was, I want to say it was eight pounds, it might have been a few pounds more, I've not got the tag on it anymore but that is absolutely stunning, it's going to look great on the edge of my sofa. These three bits are the bits I went in for. So this frying pan, we've got the saucepan and we've got the casserole pot with a lid. So I wanna say this was eight pounds 50, this was nine pounds and this was 15. I saw a similar set on Amazon and it was like something like 60, 70 pounds, but these three, absolute bargain. They're non-stick, they're aluminium, um, and honestly, they are just so aesthetic. Like, they've got the wood effect handle, they're really sturdy, and I can't wait to actually try cooking in them because they feel like they're gonna cook really nicely. So, I'm finally getting around to show you all the lovely bits that I got in Primark on our shopping trip. So, this outfit to start with, I did buy from Primark there, but it was really comfy and I had to wear it today, so. 
to start with was this sort of shirt denim shirt i usually wear a size 10 but i sized up to a size 12 in this because i quite like that it's a sort of shacket sort of style i got the matching two-piece which is this like sort of like a jimmy type ribbed material and it also has the high-waisted shorts I do have it in white as well that I bought previously and honestly it's a bargain it was I want to say it was either four or six pounds per piece which you can't complain at and they're so versatile next I got this I absolutely love stripes at the moment love the nautical sort of theme this is part of the Primark edit which is their slightly more expensive range but the quality it is so thick and nice and I want to say it's about £10, but it's really, really good quality. And to pair it with, I bought this. It's a sort of maxi skirt. It's got a nice split up it. And that was about £18. And I've worn that already, actually, with this top. I've worn it with baggy tops, with blouses. It goes with so much. It looks great with trainers as well, as it also looks really, really nice with heels and wedges. So really versatile. This is another top. I actually bought this top because I tried it on with that skirt and this was actually only £3, which is an absolute bargain. Um, I do want to go back because they had it in so many colours. They had it in white, black, um, rainbow sort of coloured. But again, it's stripes. I love everything stripes. And it, would it be a Primark trip if you didn't buy a bag? So this is sort of like... I call it like beach bag style. I don't know, like rattan sort of straw type bag. It's got this handle. It's also got a long handle and this was £10. It's perfect. It fits my really long person, which I struggle to get bags to fit it. And it fits my phone, my keys and my little perfume and travel lipstick. So perfect. Also in Primark, I picked up these shoes. I don't really, I'm not a big fan of pumps. But these were absolutely stunning. So they've got like this lovely detail and they remind me of sort of like sandal fronts, but then obviously got like the back bit, which is really nice. And they're actually quite comfy and they're really, really padded. So these would be great like for beach days, you know, sometimes walking in sandals, your feet get sore. So these I absolutely love. And these were, oh, I'm not too sure because I've worn these since. I think they're about eight, eight pounds, 10 pounds, which again, I thought they're absolutely lovely and they go with sort of trousers, they go with skirts and dresses. Really, really comfy. I love them. A few little accessories. So I got all these earrings, which I think there's how many pairs? One, two, three, six pairs of earrings there. For £3.50. And I love that they've got little ones, long ones, so I can wear them casually or dress them up. And... I'm a sucker for a nice claw. So these were £5.50. You get a big one and two small ones. And I love the colours at the moment. I'm loving sort of brown, creams, all that sort of vanilla girl aesthetic. I absolutely love. This dress I actually had last year. Um, but I've lost a load of weight. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I went on a crazy weight loss journey. And I dropped five dress sizes. This is why I've bought so many clothes recently. So this was £16. And it's basically like a... It reminds me of like a zoo sort of ranger, American style sort of coloured um, shirt. But it's a dress and it looks so lovely on. And I don't know if you've probably noticed, most of the stuff that I bought all sort of interacts and I can wear all of it with each other as well. I bought this, which again, this I actually tried on with a skirt. Most of everything here I really paired together already and it all looks wonderful. So this is, it reminds me of a little like tennis vest top, but it's actually a leotard and it's really comfortable. It's this sort of, same as this, this sort of like ribbed material that sucks you in. It looks really nice and gives you a really nice shape. I got this, which was £14. It's sort of, again polo top sort of style dress it's not too long it's sort of like mid-length and it's quite comfy really casual looks nice with a jacket on as well i picked up 
these sandals, which I've worn these so much already. I love this sort of crochet sort of element and it's so, they're so, and they are so comfortable. These were eight pounds, 10 pounds. I wanna get some more. They also do them in black, so I may actually have to get them. And then I got a few bits for Flo. So this is for Florence. So it's a little two piece. It's got nice little pretty top. It's got nice frill bits and it comes like little short leggings as well. And I tell you what, the Primark baby range was lovely. This was only eight pounds, which I thought for two pieces was really good. And I could probably mix and match because I've got similar t-shirts and tops that have got these colors in. So I can definitely mix and match them. And then I went into Tesco's because they had club card prices on their cup. Their club card. I went into Tesco's because they had club card prices on their clothes. So it's 25% off if you used your club card. So I picked this up for Flo. This is absolutely stunning. I love it. So a little dress and it's come with a little cardigan. That was £16, but I think it came to about £11, £12 with the discount. And it's so pretty. I absolutely love it. I love this sort of... I call it granny style and it really suits her. And again, obviously I compared the cardigan with other outfits. I also picked up this, this for Florence, which full price, this was only 10 pounds. So obviously came to about seven pound 50. And honestly, it's so pretty. And I realized as well, the cardigan will go really nice because it's got little blue flowers in it. So that is a really another lovely, pretty summer outfit. And finally, this, which this I think is ridiculously priced. Full price, £3.50 for a little sort of summer dress. It's got dainty little flowers. I thought little sandals, little cardigan. She's going to look absolutely adorable in it. So that's everything that I bought from Primark. Sort of, it's quite a mini haul, but I've got some really lovely new outfits and I'm so glad that everything in there at the moment is very versatile and can go with a lot of different things. Whereas sometimes I find I like clothes, but I've got nothing to go with where all this can interact and interchange. So definitely, I think it was such a successful shopping trip. It was a long shopping trip. It was a long shopping haul. Thank you if you stayed all the way to the end. And please don't forget, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my further videos for more hauls, tips, tricks, money saving, beauty, fashion, cooking, baking, and family life. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you soon, my loves.